Good morning to you. I'm Alice Kerr and hope you had the most fantastic weekend. Well, if you spent a lot of time in the kitchen, we are going to spend some time in the kitchen and hopefully help you solve some problems because we're going to be featuring Debbie Meyer for the first part of the hour. And when it comes to Debbie Meyer, she is truly one of the premier inventors. She's an author. She's an entrepreneur and truly gives us genius products like the one we're going to start with this morning because this is her genius sponge and when i say genius what you're going to find about this sponge not just a sponge but sponge and scrubber this is the elevated one this is the premium one because it has the scrubber what you're going to find about this is 40 percent more absorbent than a traditional sponge but it also inhibits the growth of bacteria and mold as well. But what we're gonna do today is the lowest price that we have ever done on the Genius sponges. We're going to give you an entire dozen, a dozen of the sponges with the scrubber, no less. And we're gonna do it at a price break of $13.95. Never before, Miss Debbie Meyer. Good morning to Good you. Good morning, nice to see you, thank you. This, a yeah. dozen? A dozen Just, sponges. just a dollar and a smidge. Yep. For each one of these, and each one of these is going to last quite some time. Oh, these these will last you. Every one of my sponges lasts the equivalent of 15 of these sponges, ordinary sponges. Now, if you've got something like this sitting next to your sink right now, and you walk past your sink, think about it. It's not your sink that smells. It's not the drain that smells. It's this. This is harboring the things that you don't want anywhere near you, your family, or your home. You simply switch to one of my sponges and you don't have that problem anymore because my sponges inhibit the growth of molds and bacteria, including things like staph, E. coli, black mold, and even MRSA. Just by rinsing out the sponge. There, before I show you any more, I really want to show you a piece of tape that was prepared by the independent laboratory that tested my sponges. And this is what they said is happening. On your ordinary sponge, that's what you, that's an animation, but you can see those things that are living not just living, growing, multiplying, and stinking in your sponge. When you simply switch to one of my sponges, here's the difference. See them going poof, poof, poof? That's because my sponge will not support the growth of molds and bacteria in or around the sponge for the life of the sponge. So you, what do you do with this? Toss it. Right. <laughs> and this is what you're left with. Now, my sponges are made with very special material. And by the way, made in the USA, independent laboratory tested and proven to do what I'm telling you. They are made with a very special material that's very soft all the time. It will never be a crispy critter. <laughs> the, return, the other side, also the scrubber stays soft as well. Even though it is a very heavy duty scrubber you know, and it's safe for your nonstick. I use it for everything. The shape is ergonomic. Easy for you to say, because I have... Easy for you to hold. Uh, yeah, I have nails, and I don't want my nails to touch the scrubber. So I actually made it that shape so you could hold it like that. But let's talk about some of the things that you can do. We talk about absorption. Okay, mm -hmm. when I make a mess in the kitchen, I don't even bother wiping up. I simply drop the sponge, boom, on it, and let the sponge do the work. You see, it's already separated. <laughs> it's already taken up what's underneath. Watch this. It's virtually dry in the spot. Watch it, suck it up right there. I don't do any extra work. These are for your kitchen, they are for your bathroom, they are for any place that you use a sponge, including right. your garage. Mm -hmm. Because we keep one out there because I was used to going out there to find something to wash the car and I'd find something like this. When you rinse this out under running water, just rinse it out and put it down tomorrow morning, it's a brand new sponge. Now I said it lasts 15 times longer than an ordinary sponge. Nobody likes math in the morning. No. So, uh, or, or any time for yeah. that, let's just okay. not limit it let's, to the morning. Let's go there, okay. You're getting 15 of my sponges. Mm -hmm. That means, or how do 12. you make a sponge, I I try, sorry, 12. How do you make a sponge economical? This way. This way. You don't have to buy. <laughs> 180 of these. <laughs> That's, a lot of That's 180 <gasps> versus 12. Right. And do the math on that. I mean, just stop and do the math. And do the math on this now, which I can pretty Absolutely. much do. Just over a dollar a sponge. And I mean, last really, 15, worth 15 it, of these. Right, exactly. 
This is one of those smart, smart, smart decisions. When we say Genius Sponge, truly, it lives up to its name. You guys love it. Read the reviews oh on this. Oh my gosh, It's yeah. not even a, just a customer pick. It is a massive customer pick. And yes, you're gonna indeed. love using it every single day. You're gonna love that, that it doesn't smell. You're gonna love that it inhibits the growth of bacteria and mold. I mean, stop and think about that. What is your, it's almost like an active oh. sponge. Instead of using that old sponge, instead of smelling it, the sponge is supposed to clean things. It's not supposed to make it worse. Yes. This is what that is going to do. It's going to make it cleaner. It's going to be more absorbent. And today we have the best value we've ever been able to do. A total of 12 of the sponges. I do believe we have limited quantities on these though. So please think about it. And uh, $13.95. We're even gonna do the two flex payments. You can split that up on your credit mm -hmm. card. But Debbie, when it comes to, to cleaning, this, this isn't is. even just the original Original genius sponge that you this, gave us. This is the one with the scrubber. Now, can this, I use yeah. this even on like a glass top? To Absolutely. Glass top stove. It's it's soft. It's safe. It's mm -hmm. easy. It does. It'll never stick you either. And if you've ever scrubbed scrambled eggs out of a pan, <laughs> you'll know those scrubber things. You're picking scrambled eggs out forever. This one will just rinse absolutely clean. Notice how soft it is and squishy. Scientific word, squishy. Mm -hmm. You will use a technical term. <laughs> yes, you will use less dish soap as well because when you put a little bit on it and you squeeze it, it foams like crazy. So let's say when you're cleaning up around the house mm -hmm. and you're going to do your dishes, so you've right. done your countertop and you're going to do your dishes, now you're finished with your dishes and you wipe out your sink, you've picked up on an ordinary sponge all the things that were in that sink and you know salmonella is very prevalent in sinks. So if you pick anything up on my sponge, even though it picks it up, when you rinse it clean, it's clean. You don't have to put it in the microwave, you don't put it in the dishwasher, you don't do any of those things, and you certainly, I didn't want to add extra bleach to my life, so I, you don't have to bleach it either. People have come up with ways of cleaning sponges that they think are effective, they are not, because things, first of all, not all dishwashers get hot enough mm -hmm. to disinfect anything. Look, see that? It's right. a, well, practically, right. it's dry mm -hmm. where that sponge was, and all I did was throw it down in there. And I don't want to put a filthy thing like this in the microwave where I cook food. So you could actually be blooming the um, contaminants. Right. Look at this, you I'm can, just gonna pick this up. You be spreading it around rather than cleaning it up. Remember and look that, at the absorbency. I mean, remember the, the, made in America, I'm very proud. Made in America, absolutely. But look at how it just, it <laughs> actually just attracts, almost attracts that, that liquid. You know, save all of those paper towels. Save a tree. This, oh my gosh, this absolutely. is going to work for you so much better, and uh, and truly save you money. And today we're saving you money with the very best value we have ever been able to give you. This is a great chance to try it. If you're brand new to Debbie Meyer, we're going to introduce you to her best-selling products coming up because the Debbie Meyer green bags are right ahead. Oops. But. This is where you start today. Something that's gonna make a difference in your kitchen. You get a dozen and it's gonna replace, literally, show them the basket. I mean. And when you buy a dozen of my sponges, if that's not a you great don't buy visual this. that makes the point. Okay, 12 of these or however many of this those. Is 180. No this is 180. This is 180 sponges. I mean, it works better at the end of the day, a dollar and some change. And I used to buy one five. of these, I used to actually throw one of these away a week. Yeah, because they started smelling. Absolutely. There's a reason they smell. It's growing bacteria. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, listen, stay in the ordering process for this. We also do have the Genius Wipes available for you as well. So if you haven't tried these, a great day to do it. We have these priced at $19.95. And we're going to include for you a 12-piece set of those. Those are nice and big, too, almost like an oversized type of sponge. I use those in place of paper towels. Yeah, okay. exactly. And the absorbency on that, again, incredible. Same so. thing, and they last. 15 times longer than a sponge each of those as well all right so that is available as well if you'd like to add that into your order but what we're going to do now i made this a hose pick a couple of times because i love this system so so much it is the genius vac yes and you know some things are just items that live up to their name. This is it right here. It fits in the palm of your hand. What is this gonna do? It's going to take the air out of whatever you might want to take the air out of. We're including for you not only the Genius Vac, right? It's 
so simple to use. It's seconds to now be able to vacuum seal whatever you might want to. And we're including for you bags this morning. We're going to include for you uh, five, and five of the, the quart and five of, look at the gallon size, okay? Five of the quart, five of the gallon. Batteries coming with it too. <laughs> Out of it. the box, it's I working it when immediately. Through the batteries, because it's, it's always the little things, right, that drive you crazy. We do have bags available for you, so if you want to add in the extra battery, yes. the extra bags. We have them, and we even have them on auto ship. That's which oh, wonderful. I, I love that we're doing on auto ship. I don't even think I've seen us do that. $19.95 includes the bags, two flex payments. Let us show you how this works, because as okay. soon as you see it, you're going to get it. Well, first of all, I just want to tell you that this is completely cordless. It's handheld. Mm -hmm. I pack one and take it with me when I travel. That's a good okay. idea. So this is going to remove, this is a handheld vacuum that's going to remove the air from all food, like these, this specifically for foods because, in the freezer, and I'm going to take you to the freezer because I want to explain to you what the science, I'm the science girl when it comes to the kitchen, and you know me for that. Let's say, let's say we look at, where's my steak? Okay. I'm looking for my, I'm looking for my, oh, there, it's on top. I can no wonder I couldn't find it. Okay, look at that. What is that? Mm. Yeah, anybody's guess. That's trash. Okay, how do you <laughs> trash? trash in my house. <gasps> That's freezer burn. Freezer burn is not just the ice on top. Freezer burn is when the cold air of your freezer draws the, the uh, moisture to the surface of the protein that's in the freezer and crystallizes it. You can never get the moisture back into the meat. That's why when you find a freezer burn steak in your freezer, you've ended up with a piece of leather on your grill. <laughs> it's never coming back. So the difference is you can see, you can put throw steak in your freezer and have it look like that, or you can throw steak in your freezer and have it look like this. So are those the exact same steaks? Same steaks. Isn't that crazy? And that's all you mm -hmm. did. And I opened the package, I portioned it out. I can make it in portions. I can have it smaller portions if I wish. Here's chicken. Now we bought this bag from the grocery store. It already had the ice in it. That meant it was freezer burned before you bought it. All right, now that's, that's ridiculous. All you have to do is you can just buy fresh meat, buy fresh chicken, and you can repackage it. You just simply put it in one of my bags. That's the same thing. The difference between that and permafrost. And my hands are freezing. <laughs> There's many ways you can use this. You can use it for fish. I will not pay someone to cut up fish for me, so I, cut, I buy a big piece of fish, and I cut it into the pieces I want, and I save it that way. I also do freezer packs for smoothies. Everyone's got their own freezer pack. In the morning, they just throw in a lump of um, yogurt, and we're done. So it's everything from, you can do breads, you can do meats, you can do all kinds of proteins, you can do vegetables. And come on here and let's save some money. This is what I'm talking about. When you buy like this, mm -hmm. you save money. Mm -hmm. Then what you do is you take them and individually package them. This is the quart bag. So maybe I want to have a piece of chicken. Oh, and my husband wants to have a steak. Same time. I can pre-pack these so each of us gets what we want. And you have a vacuum sealed in seconds. Sometimes you do there. It goes one, two, three, four, five. I've got vacuum sealed. This will go in the freezer and it's ready to eat when I want to eat it. You can use the quart bags and maybe do two chicken breasts, four chicken breasts and have it ready for the whole family. Here's a piece of fish. When we buy pizza, we buy extra pizza mm -hmm. so that I can do this. I can vacuum seal it and put it in the freezer and in the moment when somebody wants pizza, there is pizza. So let's talk about how is this strong. It's small, it's lightweight, it's easy to use. One button, one thumb. One, that circle is the valve, that's it. That's how you use it. Is it strong? Yes, I'm gonna show you. Now you're not gonna do this, because there's no purpose in you crushing your can. But you hear it? Here it goes. That's how strong it is. I mean, come on. Okay, come on. now, that, that's, that's a, strong. That's a great demonstration. Okay. okay, because if you took this and just tried to bend it, think of how hard that would yeah. be. That just proves the suction that but, this little, little mighty thing can do. But you also have control. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you on very delicate strawberries, I'm gonna start pulling the air out of that bag. Somebody's wiggling around, one, two, three, and I'm not gonna squash them. 
because I can stop as soon as I see they're sealed. Look vacuum sealed. I can put those in the refrigerator or I can put those in the freezer and I can have fresh strawberries in the middle right, of winter. That's right because air is your enemy and exactly. we're going to talk more about that with our green bags that are coming up next. But this is the way you're going to be able to save your, your well, you name it, and not just food. You're going to use this for coffee. You're going to use this if you travel to yes. keep some of your liquids in so that they don't leak. Absolutely. But you know what? There's a reason why they vacuum pack coffee Absolutely. to keep it fresh. It become, that has oil in it that goes rancid very, very quickly. I just turn this back into the way it was purchased. When I want to have some coffee, I open it up. I enjoy the coffee. I put it back together like this, and I just, with my thumb, just make sure that's sealed. See that? I have a zip seal on my bags for a reason. It's so that you can help yourself to the contents and not have to worry about cutting off any mm -hmm. of the bag, losing any of the bag. So my and question then, is, do, does this automatically stop when it reaches the point where is the, the air is removed? Or no. should I just kind of eyeball it? You're going to eyeball it. You're going to see if yeah, in right here, it has yeah. to slow down. Right, it's because pulling. there's just no more air. Now remember, in something like granulated or nuts or something like that, there's a lot of air in between. Mm -hmm. So it's going to pull air for quite a while but once you have this you're fine yeah you know how fast tortillas go go um hard i buy and they the packages are huge of them so right. i break them up put and them in the freezer the tortilla every day oh absolutely you know, i mean maybe once a week so whether here's snacks here's mm -hmm. beans and think about this in your pantry you can put this many things in your pantry. They're so much easier it's, to store, aren't it's they? It's like filing mm -hmm. cabinet instead of having all those boxes and but things. But I love, I love it on the donuts, okay? Absolutely. Donuts go bad all, or get stale almost as soon as you get them home from oh, yeah. the store, right? Sure. And now you're going to be able to keep them fresher, look. longer. And look, look at how it just wraps right around there, especially the only, brown sugar. The only know. time brown sugar, should, you know, brown sugar should always be soft. We're going to make it hard by removing the air but that's how you're going to keep it soft. And that sounds funny, but it's, that's how it works. So what you do is you, you remove the air from the brown sugar. Right. It takes, there's a lot of air in there. You can see it coming out, mm -hmm. all right? One, two, three, maybe about six seconds. And I've got hard brown sugar. When it's soft again, open the bag and use what I need to for any recipe. Exactly. So, so that's mm -hmm. how easy it is. Keep the bugs out of things. I was just going <laughs> to say, bugs with, we live with in, rice we live and, in Florida. and spices. We live yeah. in Florida, so we have humidity. We have, you know, little critters that love to be in the pantry. So I keep my green beans, my green peas like that. These things, you know, okay, put it on a bag, watch. The, right. Okay. This is it's, it's not removing the air. It's really it's not. not even providing much of a barrier to the air. You're going to get your vacuum seal. You're going to get the batteries, for heaven's sakes. You're going to go straight out, and that's one, two, three, four. Five of your, uh, six of your batteries are included with this offer. And then you're going to get five of each of your bags. You get five of your quart. You get five of the gallon. Look at the gallon size. Now, stop and think about how many things you're going to be able to save, the money you're going to save, oh. the freshness you're going to keep, Absolutely. and even, again, you'll use this for things that you travel with, your liquids and things like that. Fabulous for that. For less than $20, and especially if you put it on flex payment today, do it. I'm telling you, this is one of the most th used things I, I have this. in my kitchen. I love it, too. Yeah, I it is a, and it fits in your kitchen drawer. Well, you know, some people buy thing. those vacuum sealing yeah. things. They take up all that space. You have to, you know, pretty much uh, read the manual just to figure out how to use them it's, and really you I don't have, use it because it's too much of a hassle this is that so many people size. take it with them whether if you're a hunter or a fisherman a mm -hmm. fisherman fishermen love this they take it on the boat they catch their fish they got their fish they seal them in my bags and they throw the guts over board they come home with clean fish it's wonderful mm -hmm. it's also like if, if you want to save money we're talking about freezer burn as a way to save money, but if you want to save money, if you go to the store, you go to a big box store and you buy a block of cheese like this, right? Well, if you go to the other stores and you buy they already cut up, it costs you so much more. It, it dries out faster. Do it yourself, mm -hmm. and you can vacuum seal each one of these things. So here's sausages, here's cheeses, here's summer corn in the middle of winter, but this is one of my favorite things. I make up a cheese tray and slide it into the bag. I, see, I vacuum seal it and put it in the freezer because then what happens? Oopsie. Vacuum sealed. When I have people come over unexpectedly, I take this out, slide mm -hmm. it out. In five minutes, it's thawed. And I'm going to tell you the little trick, too, because 
the thing is, when you put it on top, what you want to make sure is it's not just flat against the surface because that's when... Don't push when, down too hard. You right, don't have don't to. Don't push down too hard, okay? See, See That's what you want to do is just allow this to work. And that's when it's going to take all that air out and look at that. Look at that. Okay, and then it's, it really does just kind of stop just because you can see that the air is completely gone. You know, it's expensive for look stores to vacuum, vacuum pack things, but they do look it for them. a reason. Absolutely, now look at all these clothes. Now my granddaughter grew out of these, right? Well, we want to put them away for somebody, for maybe maybe another grandbaby. Yeah, there's always hope. I buy them, <laughs> I buy, I put them in my bag, I write down how, what year these are, what, what size mm -hmm. they are, and vacuum seal it. I can put these in a bin and they're safe from, uh, they're safe from moisture, they're safe mm -hmm. from flooding, they're safe from bugs, and they're fresh and clean the next time. If you travel with kids, as we have, I'm a grandma, instead of having to have all these diapers, like this, this. That's what I sealed up in my suitcase. Talk yeah, about travel. if you're traveling oh. and they're dirty, then you put them back put in, in th there and yeah. you seal dirty it up. Dirty clothes go right back into the bag, believe me, and we vacuum seal it and stick it in the bottom mm -hmm. of the suitcase. Perfect. That's, that's how I travel with cosmetics. TSA loves me because I just, that, this is what I put in the bin, nothing leaks. This silver jewelry has been in here for I had a dog's age. And you notice, silver doesn't tarnish when there's no air. I had not the, thought of that one. Yeah. I just, what a great you idea. You can even put can your flat you can mm -hmm. put your flatware in it if you just wrap the tips, you know, mm -hmm. just put a piece of tissue paper sure. around the, the tines so they don't poke through. But you can do that. When we go for walks or we go out for the day, I am not going to carry around one of these to give the kids snacks. I make my own snack packs. I make the snack packs. I make 100 calorie packs. I can read. I know how much is 100 <laughs> calories. I have a measuring cup. I can measure. So I make 100 calorie packs and vacuum seal them so that we can take them. It's a grab and go in my own pantry. Whether it's pasta, you can store this or you can store this. And you can throw this out later because it gets those little crazy right. bugs in there. So it's all kinds of snacks. When I was shipping cookies to people at Christmas time, this is how I packed them. Look at them. They're, nice and they're, fresh. They're mm -hmm. nice and tight so they don't bounce around and get cracked and whatever. And I, I stood them up in a box. I couldn't tell you how many cookies would go in one box yeah. because of that. But let's come back on this side because and, I and really you know want to if talk you're about traveling freezer to ski this year or maybe going where there's an um, elevation, this is yes. perfect for yes. you to take your things because those things always Boop. explode <laughs> in the bags exactly. because of the, uh, the altitude. So perfect for your traveling. Again, five of your gallon, five of your quart, the batteries included, your, your Genius Vac included. These make fabulous gift ideas They are a too. wonderful gift idea. And I please take how, advantage how useful they are. of the um, auto ship on the bags mm -hmm. if you already have it because we, we sell out of the bags all the time. So the auto ship is a great way to go. Because uh, I know we'll sell out of the bags. I'm not sure that one's even oh, uh, I didn't completely seal it. sealed because I opened it before. Yeah, it's just a And I like I don't have to do that little special no. seal or anything. No. Yeah, it's, I just put it's it just down. like a traditional little I'd, bag. You I'd just really do that like to show and you. then you just put it right on here. We're going to go back over to the, uh, the freezer though. Watch. Seconds. In seconds. Look how tight that is. That is amazing. Look. And, and then it. store it this way, store it this way, store it anyway, yeah. but store it in the freezer if you want to, so perfect. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the real money that you're losing. The real money is when you have freezer burn, your protein is freezer burned. And that protein is your chicken, your fish, your meats, all of the things that you put in there that you bought, you spent so much money for. So instead of doing this, Remember, freezer burn is not just the frost. Freezer burn is when the moisture in the meat has actually been drawn to the surface. It's actually the moisture in anything. It could be french fries, it could be fish, it could be all kinds of anything you put in the refrigerator. The moisture is drawn to the surface by the cold air. Think of chapped hands. When your hands are chapped, it's the same thing. The moisture has come out of your skin. You can put moisture back into your skin. You can't put it back into meat. So this is the difference. You seal them in one of my Genius Vac bags and you still have the steak you bought. You don't have this to throw away, you have this. Go look in your freezer right now and you'll, you'll see the difference immediately. I didn't show you the fish before, let me show you that. This is a piece of fish, this, was a piece of fish. Right. Look at that. It's expensive. Look, why, it's, why are you wasting your food drying it out? So all that frost is actually 
just that's just an indication of the freezer mm -hmm. look at the color it's lost all its color right look and you know what this is also great if you've started doing sous vide yes. and you need you need those little vacuum uh, bags for those this works beautifully for your sous vide as well stay in the ordering process don't forget to pick up those additional bags we do have them available and we have yes. them available on your auto, auto ship. ship so great time i'm so excited to, uh, about really that stock up i know i i don't think we've even done that before no, but uh there you can see the additional storage bags we have them available in a 20 count your choice in the one quart or the one gallon but when we come back we have a showstopper and it is what started the entire debbie meyer phenomenon you don't <laughs> want to miss it the thing I love most about shopping at HSN. Do I have to pick just one? I'd have to say FlexPay. Mm -hmm. It allows me to get the things I want now and make monthly payments without any interest or fees. I got a new mattress for the guest bedroom, a fabulous cookware set for my sister's wedding, and a little something just for me. FlexPay gives me the flexibility to buy what I need now without the stress of having to pay for it all at once and no interest. Beat that layaway. Our Happy Place cleaning products are made with plant-based ingredients, which means less chemicals in your house, which will make it a happy place. People think, can it work well? And it does. We chose plant-based ingredients so you're not breathing in fumes. You're not putting as many chemicals where your kids and your pets are touching them. There's a lot of great benefits to cleaning with our Happy Place products. If we can get your home clean, that's what makes your home a happy place. When it comes to this lovely lady, Debbie Meyer is joining us. I'm Alice Carone, and what it all started with was an idea on how to extend the life of fruits and vegetables so we would stop throwing things away because they went bad before we even blinked. That's the entire premise beside, behind the Debbie Meyer green bag. And we have a configuration today to yes. end all configurations for you because this is 80 pieces 80. of your storage bags that again, extend the life of fruits and vegetables and even fresh flowers as well. So here's how it's going to come to your front door, but what's gonna be included there are going to be 16 of your extra large bags. You're gonna get 32 of your large bags and then you're going to get 32 of your medium bags as I, well. So this is yeah. gonna be the extra large right that's, here. That's the extra, I'll, I'll lift it for you because I, yeah. I need right. my workout. <laughs> there, there you go. Oh, that's you six, can that's see. the largest bag, that's the extra large. Is that 10 pounds of About potatoes? About 10 pounds of potatoes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in this one, this is the medium bag. Now, this is the large bag. This is about eight pounds of apples in that one. Mm -hmm. And then this is the medium bag, and there's about six pounds of onions in that one. Now, you notice these are round things, and the bags are standing up. That's because the bags are all gusseted on the bottom so that in your pantry they can stand just like I have them in my pantry. You do not need to close them. In fact, you shouldn't close them. If you want to flip over the top like that, fine. But don't use clips or, or twists yeah. or anything. They don't just, have to seal it. Which as is long it's part the of the bag. beauty of this. So again, you're gonna get 16 of the extra large, you're gonna get 32 of the large, mm -hmm. and you're gonna get 32 of your medium. So and this is a super size. And collection. here they are. This whole, that's all yeah. of them right there. Throw it in your kitchen drawer. I don't make new problems for you, I solve the old that's ones. That's right, and this so is how on. it all works. This and is about, it looks like magic. It's science. It's science. This is science, independent, lab tested and proven and, and proudly made right here in America. Again, all of my products, my Debbie Meyer green bags and all of my Debbie Meyer green boxes are made right here in America. It's important to me and I know it's important to you and, and thank you for it, thanking me all the time. <laughs> but this is where it all started with bananas. I was throwing away so many bananas. And do you know that bananas are the most purchased and most thrown away fruit? in the I, whole country. I totally believe it. I would, I would mm -hmm. guess in the world. Because in nine days, look what's happened. These are side by side. They were both purchased nine days ago. Those numbers are from the independent laboratory who said, this, the, this is what you can expect to happen. Nine days, these just rested on my counter in one of my green bags. Air is not the enemy of fruits and vegetables. It is not. It's ethylene gas, which is their natural ripening gas. My bags are made with a, with a specific element that takes care of that gas for you. Oh, they're reusable up to 10 times each. So that package of 80 bags, mm -hmm. 
up to 800 uses. Up to 800 use. uses. That's crazy when that, you stop and think about the value of what you're getting today. And, and these just sit. They're so simple to, to use. And you keep things exactly where you would ordinarily keep them. So here you are on the countertop. Refrigerator. This celery is three weeks. Three weeks old. That's three weeks. And I know you have found that in the bottom of that thing they call the crisper drawer. This has been in one of my green bags for three weeks. It's the same celery. Ooh, and yeah. it is juicy. <laughs> <laughs> it is very juicy. A little, ju little celery splash. I, see, I used to actually do it toward the camera, and I don't anymore because they got mad at me. They were wiping splash it Splash zone. Look at that moisture. Look at the color. You, you can tell the difference in the color. That means the nutrition is still in the food. And this is not because preservatives are over here Nothing. and not over here, okay? No. It is just about the Debbie Meyer green bag. That's the only difference in those. You know how expensive strawberries are right yes, now? And, you, and by the time you get them home, I swear they start already. deteriorating. Oh, it's they, ridiculous. You, this is nine days. These are, oh, you want to see a ridiculous strawberry? Gorgeous. That That's, That's a triplet. Yeah, That's a triplet. <laughs> these are the same age. Oh, these are nine beautiful. days. Beautiful. Look how gorgeous these are. You might be missing one and, of those. That oh, is okay. gorgeous. Is that amazing? And all you do is this. In my refrigerator, if I want to close something, I just loosely do this and put it in the refrigerator. You do not have to do anything special. Nothing extra. So in, fact, in the refrigerator or out of the refrigerator? Yeah, wherever you normally would store the contents. Okay. So my tomatoes I keep on the countertop. So 14 days, look at that, the difference at 14 days. And this is what a 14 day tomato looks like in my world. Mm -hmm. That is two weeks. So remember, you do nothing extra. I'm not asking you to time anything. I'm not asking you to look at something. And, and as a reminder, because people have asked me, 10 times doesn't mean each time you take out a tomato, that makes a time. It's mm -hmm. when all these tomatoes are gone, that's the next time. <laughs> so this is one time. So they last a very long time. Rinse them with cool, clear water. Okay. You can even turn them inside out if you like, because mm -hmm. it's the, the, Let the, them dry and then they're good no to go again. There's no lining. It, the whole bag is made with the material. So 21 days on carrots, okay? Yeah. I always say this would be funny if it wasn't money. Right. Okay? <laughs> so I, what I did was, oh, the bag fell off. What I did was I stored this, actually the greens in a bag, and the carrots in a bag, so that you could see the difference at three weeks. I still have greens that are bouncy and green, and I still have carrots that snap like that. Yeah. All the way to the tip. Alice, look at the color. Right. All the it's way all to the about, tip. It's about the color. It's about the Christmas. It's about not wasting your food. How much food do we throw oh. away in a week? In it's, one week? If you go, you know, if I throw away just what's on this table, mm -hmm. all, the, all the rotted food on this table, I've probably blown many people's food budget for the week. And that's, that to me is ridiculous and it's horrible and I don't like to waste money and I don't like to waste food and I don't, yeah. I really don't like to waste Mushrooms anything. Mushrooms are the worst. But I don't know anybody of any economic level who wants to waste one penny of one dollar on food. And, and just this the is, fact that we're throwing food away, I mean, uh, it's, it's a shame, isn't it? this is. At, this is nine days. I actually don't wash anything before I put it in the bags because introducing more moisture only brings in more contaminants. Mm -hmm. You don't want to, you want to keep things in the bag as dry as possible. If you see any moisture at all build up in the bag, which is natural because all fruits and vegetables give off moisture. It's part of their respiration. It's part of their process. If you see moisture, take a paper towel and wipe it out. It's as simple as that. Go Go look at the reviews. People are talking about how much money they've saved, how they don't go to the store as often. Look at 21 day pepper. <laughs> look at yeah. that. That's how 21. much do you spend on each one of those oh, things? Oh my God, you want to see yeah. expensive? Mm -hmm. That. Right there. Right there. For That's some probably. reason, because it's yellow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it charges like twice the price. I don't know why. Look when, at that. When seeds are all intact, mm -hmm. that means that pepper is incredibly fresh. Smell that, Alice. Mm -hmm. And, and look at the moisture. Oh, the moisture all over. You can visually see it. I mean, I know this is TV and I know you're looking at it, but you can, you nose. can see it <laughs> and you can hear it. That's what a pepper should sound like when it's very fresh. Mm -hmm. That's a pepper that is three weeks in one of my green bags. And that's all I did with it. Pears, okay, they, they, they look like crazy when, I, I pick a beautiful pear at the store, I bring it home and suddenly it's got black marks all over it. Okay, now you can have the mush or you can have the blush. I prefer the blush. 
just simply put it in one of my bags, do this, and it's done. And you eat them, and everyone in my house likes their fruit at a different level of ripeness. Mm -hmm. So you can actually feel them because they will ripen slowly. What I'm doing is slowing down the process. I'm not turning back the clock. I can't make one of those turn into one of these. But what I, what I can do is take this and slow down its natural ripening process. It's simply because of the ethylene gas is being taken care of by my bags. Let me show you the science real quick because we don't have a whole lot of time today, but I just want to make sure I show you this. We love cut salad, mm -hmm. convenient, wonderful, all that. When you go to the store and you buy it, don't buy a bag that has any puffiness to it whatsoever. Ethylene gas is what's trapped in that bag. It is not air. It's coming from all the salad that's cut in this bag. This is the only way I can show it to you because it's odorless, colorless, and tasteless. But it's rotting what's in that bag. That salad is rotting. When you go to the store, buy the flattest bag. People look at me all the time because I'm busy touching bags, mm -hmm. seeing if they're flat. You buy the flattest bag you can. You come home. And this is all the work I'm asking you to do. Okay, let's take it right out of the bag. That's it. That's it. Throw Just that away. Second. That's a transportation device. Mm -hmm. I work in the, trans in the food packaging business. Growers tell me, these are not intended to keep your foods fresh. They're not intended for anything but to get it from them to the store and then maybe home to you. Mm -hmm. You used to be on your own. You're not anymore because you have me and my green bags and my green boxes. That salad now goes in the fridge. I just fold over the top, toss it in the fridge, and it's ready when I'm ready for it. And look at the configuration we're going to give you grapes. today. I mean, it works. You know what, Jared, my Four lovely producer, um, work out how much each bag ends up being, would you? We're going to give you a total of 80 bags, 80 of your Debbie Meyer green bags for $29.95. You use these over and over and over. How many times? Up to 10 Debbie? times each. 10 times. But okay. you know, they 37 yeah. cents each. 37 cents. What did you pay for this? Oh okay. My God. What did you pay for that pepper right there? What did there? you pay, for, did you pay for that? I, I mean, bet over 37 cents for a tomato. Don't even talk to me. Okay. It's ridiculous what we pay for our food. And most of us are going organic. What does that mean? It goes even faster. And costs now, even more. And costs even more, and okay. then it goes even faster. Now oh. you're going to be able to extend the life of that and... Uh, I mean, give what? me some blue cheese dressing. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, somebody a little blue bacon on top. Dressing. Okay. <laughs> and notice that, you know, now I've broken this lettuce. Okay, maybe I'm not going to finish the whole head of lettuce tonight, so I put what's left back in the bag, and it will continue to keep that lettuce fresh longer as well because it continues to work. The moment you put something into the bag is the moment that it starts to last longer. And that's that's a phrase to get your head around. So let us show really you what we're including money. because 80 bags. It comes to you like this, but look at the configuration. So you're going to get the extra large bags. When, when I say extra large, these will hold 10 pounds of potatoes, and okay? More. 16 of those included. That's 160 32. uses. Okay. 32 of your large bags right here. And then we're including 32 of your medium. And uh, let me tell you, that holds a lot a as lot. well. We so, don't even have them filled up all the way. Not this is at all. how they stand in my pantry. Right. I don't even close them. I just leave them there. Now, you want to save some more money? Let's talk about bulk shopping. You can go to the grocery store and buy a package of three heads of romaine. You know, they cost a certain price, but you can go to the big box store. Sure. Buy double the amount for almost the same price. Don't be afraid to buy them. This is what I do. Buy them in bulk. There's only two people in my family, but we have a salad every day. So I have enough salad here. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six days, almost a week of salad in one bag, and I know it's going to be fresh when I'm ready to eat it. So whether, whether it's lettuce, it could be corn, it's beans. Beans, oh please, look at this. Beans should not do this. No, they no, no yoga for your beans. Snap, right. just like that. Carrots, baby carrots. Look, Look at the how color. Gorgeous. Remember that the numbers you're seeing on the table are all from independent laboratory testing that proved my bags do what we say they do. They can, they actually extend the life of fruits and vegetables. My bags are specifically for fruits and vegetables and cut flowers. My boxes also include baked goods. But look at this. This is the same head of cabbage. This is just split in half 14 days later. And all I did was put it in the bag. That's my launcher, put it in the bag. It's as simple as that. You don't have to time anything. You don't have to mark anything. You don't have to throw anything away. Right. You don't have to worry about, is it still working? Mm -hmm. After 10 times, the bag doesn't just turn off. 
we say 10 times because that's a reasonable amount length of time to be using a bag that, you know, you might rip it, you might put a hole in it, you might lose a few, whatever it is. But 14 days cauliflower, look at that. Look at this corn. I got a great deal on corn on the cob, strangely enough, 14 days ago. So let's say I was gonna have a barbecue today, because mm -hmm. we live in Florida, we yes, can do we that, can. right? So 14 days ago, I got ready for tonight's barbecue, two weeks ago. Yeah. Right, so you can take You're advantage of sales. So much money. You're gonna save a tremendous amount of money. Even more importantly, you're not gonna waste food. It's, it should be against the law, the, the amount of the food that we throw this. away. Instead, extend the life of the fruit and vegetables. There's and here's what I'm gonna suggest you do. These. Get it home, okay, and try it for yourself. Try it, experience it. If it doesn't work for you, send them back. We have sold hundreds of thousands. Oh. How many of you sold around the world? <laughs> around I mean, there are over a billion. A billion green over bags. Over a billion of my green bags. A billion. In listen, use. listen, Look at this. that's why you can buy this with confidence because you know this is going to work. We'd love to send these out to you. We'd love to let you try them for 30 days. If this. you don't love them, send them back. And Alice. you know what? Hopefully, some of us are about to get flowers. I oh, bet you are. Yeah, but you know, I'm. Mm -hmm. And you want to make them last as long as possible? Put one of my green bags over them at night. The flowers give off the same ethylene gas. I call it a sleeping bag. Put it on at night, take it off in the daytime, and enjoy your flowers. Your flowers will last so much longer as well. Doesn't matter if they come from the drugstore, the supermarket, or the fancy florist. They give off the same gas as all these fruits and vegetables. So instead of stinky broccoli, you've mm -hmm. got perfect broccoli. Instead of dried up green onions, you've got perfect green onions. Par I was just showing you parsley. They won't let me buy this much. That's what I want. They make me buy this. <laughs> Why do they do that? Why do they make us buy a bunch of parsley? Well, that makes now you can use it. Much? Well, now you get to use it as much as you want instead of throwing That's it right. away. Listen, great to see you <laughs> as always. So you too. Thank, Thank you for you. such a great solution. Thank you. But we I'm are going to make your soup so simple, especially this time of year. It's going to taste good. G by Juliana is for the confident, fashionable, amazing woman. She can expect to feel comfortable. She can also expect a lot of compliments. They'll be asking, who are you wearing? Wow, Mom, those are nice. Hey, can I borrow those? OK. Yeah? I'll see you later. Season, isn't it? We are about to change everything about the way you make soup. Imagine not having to put the vegetables in all cut up, just pop them in and let your soup maker make it for you in a matter of, are you ready? 18 minutes. You will have fresh, hot, piping soup. And look at what Stephanie Roberts has cooked up for us this morning. This is from Philips. Philips is one of those great companies that brings us great innovations. Uh, this one, soup maker, and we are not going to include for you a recipe booklet. I'm saying we're including a recipe book. Look at the size of this and all the great soup ideas that you're going to get from it. But you will never make a pot of soup and have to chop everything up again because your soup maker does all the work now for you. And within 20 minutes, you have the freshest soup on the planet. And we have Stephanie Roberts, one of our culinary experts, joining us. Let's start with the fact that, oh my gosh, some of these soups sound in incredible sweet potato almond soup. Mm. But this is a process by which now your soup maker makes the soup, 
You don't. Exactly. What used to take all day, mm -hmm. literally the now chopping, takes 18 minutes. Exactly, because I'm putting things in here raw. Mm -hmm. So I'm cutting down on my prep time so much. For instance, this butternut squash soup, which of course is in the great recipe book that we just poured, the butternut squash goes in raw. Normally when I make butternut squash, I would have to roast it right. for at least an hour mm -hmm. and then use a blender to get the right consistency, stir in my liquids. These are all the ingredients that go in my butternut squash. We use potato, butternut squash, some spices, some broth. That's it. Prep time, gosh, you can buy those pre-cut because I cheat with all sorts of things like right. that. Throw it in, push the button, and the magic is right here. This is a thousand watts of power, and it includes a heater, which cooks my butternut squash, which cooks my raw meat. We're gonna put in raw meat in here raw and meat. watch the magic happen. Mm -hmm. And then the blender takes over for the consistency. So it truly is home cooked soup where you are controlling the ingredients, no preservatives, no chemicals. The list of things in a canned soup is alarming and it leaves you thirsty the whole rest of the day because you've had so much different things. We're putting healthy, fresh ingredients into our Phillips soup maker. We're pushing one of six preset choices and from then on, it does the work for me. So watch how easy chicken enchilada soup is. Raw chicken, ready to go. It's gonna go right in there. I don't have to so do I any should, cooking. I should just chop it up first. Chop it up, that's okay. it. I buy the little tenderloins because they're a little easier. Right. Chop, 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 chop. Okay. in it goes. I took some corn, and again, frozen, can, whatever you want, mm -hmm. goes right in. We bought, got some onions. You can buy those pre-chopped, by the way. You can also buy them frozen. I now keep a bag of frozen onions in my freezer, and when you need them, you just you know bang out what you need dump them in it has made cooking so much easier this is a can of enchilada sauce again easy prep as can be we've added a little extra paprika for some more advanced flavor by the way this recipe in the book and then here is my liquid my chicken broth now if you look inside the soup maker there is a max and a min line which means as long as your liquid is up to the min line and not over the max line anything can be cooked in here. Mm -hmm. So if grandma has a great chicken enchilada soup recipe, use it. You don't have to use our recipes, but I like that it's such a great place to start. So you don't have to worry about what you're gonna do. So I gave it a quick stir. Now we're gonna let the soup maker do the rest. Now let's take a look at what I can see on top of the soup maker. I have six preset functions. They include a puree, a chunky soup for when I want those pieces in my soup, a milk and cream based soup, because guess what? Milk scalds easily. So the Phillips soup maker knows to adjust the temperature for a milk based soup. Then I can also do a fruit compote. Oh my gosh, hot apples on the pancakes and waffles in the morning in minutes. Wait till you see that result. We can do chilled soups because summer will come back eventually. Melon, gazpacho, cucumber, mm -hmm. or just use it as a smoothie. Because remember, you've got a blender in here. That is my man annual blender function where I can use it for anything. So we're gonna make this one as a pureed soup function. I hit puree, I hit go, and literally now I walk away. I wanna show you what's going to be here in 18 minutes with the magic of TV. We made one of these so you can try it okay. before we started. I also like the fact that it's got a great pour, so all I do is pull the plug off the back and I can serve right from the jug. I want you to look at this consistency. And how much soup are you able to make? So I can make two, I'm gonna call them huge entree servings. My husband and I made minestrone, which is in the recipe book last night, and we could not finish the two bowls it made. So it makes two very big servings. Honestly, I could pour another bowl just like that out of this now. So three pretty big entree servings okay. or four to six little smaller side servings. Okay. So it just depends how hungry you are. But we could top this with a little bit of avocado. And remember those big chunks of chicken? They have been pureed into a gorgeous, thick soup. Ooh, so you're gonna get all the flavor, you're gonna yes. get the texture you of it. You are welcome to taste if you would like. Uh, sure. So what I like about this is it just makes the mm -hmm. ability to get soup on the table so much easier. I didn't have to saute my chicken. I didn't have to cook it in the stove, put it in a pot, wow. put in an immersion blender. How's the flavor? The flavor. 
It was incredible. Now, what I think is incredible mm. is that usually to get flavor like that, I'm slow cooking all day, or I'm pressure cooking, mm -hmm. something that involves a big clunky machine. And look Phillips. at the texture of it. The texture is beautiful. What did you put this on? Is it puree? That's puree. Okay. So if you wanted mm -hmm. to make it chunky, you can make it chunky. You have yeah. your options. Any recipe mm. you want, any recipe that's with the 38 in the book, that specific one this in the book, fabulous soup. It, you know, it tastes like your grandma made it all day. You no, know, it tastes like a, like my favorite Mexican restaurant. Even in, better. In Dallas. It, it tastes like that. It is that good. So I would call this restaurant quality soup, mm. cooked all day long, slow over the stove quality wow. soup in 18 minutes. And that's the difference to me. You know, we had a cold garbagey day yesterday and about four o'clock, everybody's like, oh, I would just love homemade stew or chowder. And I'm like, well, that's a little late at four o'clock. No, it's not. Ingredients in 20 minutes later. What about chili? Okay, now chili, I did this without having to brown the ground beef. I mean, look at that flavor. So you put in raw ground beef. Raw ground meat, okay. right in there. My beans, mm -hmm. my tomato base, everything that you would normally do with chili and look at the consistency. I've got my meat. You see how it's perfectly crumbled? Honestly, I like this better than if I grind or if I brown it on the stove because I don't usually get that kind of crumble. Right, exactly. You get and you get an even crumble. Ex or oh. you get a big chunk mm -hmm. in one corner and right. then you wonder if it's cooked well. So not only did this cook my brown beef, but it did just a little bit of a blend with it so that as a result, I have this amazing chili consistency. Again, that's the turkey chili recipe in the book, use your own favorite chili recipe. You don't just have to use the recipe that's coming in the book. I'm gonna have to try your chili yes, over here. Yes, no, please soup dig in. Soup season is here, but if you're like me, I eat soups all year long. Yep. I love soup. I, I think I know so many people who love soups. If you have tried to buy soup, read the sodium labels before you do. Oh my goodness. They are absolutely loaded with sodium. Most of them are, and, and I happen to be sodium sensitive. This is gonna allow you to make your own soup. You can make it fresh, you can make it piping hot, and it's gonna taste so good, and it's gonna be so simple because a lot of us resist making soup because it's like, well, do I have the, the entire afternoon? Exactly. And I don't wanna wait a couple of hours to eat my soup. I love having something right there in 18, 18 minutes. 18 minutes to turkey chili. You're mm -hmm. not having to wait. Now what right. Phillips has done, Phillips is all about innovation. So they know people like Alice absolutely love soup. They were trying to figure Ooh. out how can we make making soup easier? And the answer is right here. The way this is styled, it has a brain inside that knows that the cauliflower soup that I'm about to show you is a milk-based soup. So therefore, milk can't cook as hot mm -hmm. as our chili, as our chicken enchilada soup. So the temperature adjusts for a cream-based soup. Mm. It cooks a little longer, but a little cooler. That chili that oh, Alice chili. is trying, do you love awesome. it? Good flavor? Mm -hmm. Got a little kick. Got a little kick, we oh, like yeah. a little kick. But here's the thing, that had to cook really hot because we put the meat in raw. And it is piping hot. It is, Absolutely. it does come out piping mm -hmm. hot. And here's what else I like, once it is done cooking, because this is a great stainless steel container, it right. will keep it warm. Gosh, it says 40 minutes. It? I'm telling you, it'll stay warm for well over an hour. So cleaning is awesome. You know how we use the puree function right. to make that gorgeous consistency? Mm -hmm. Similar to what we do with a lot of our blenders, we <coughs> plop in me. a tiny bit of dish soap, mm -hmm. we put in some water, and we hit puree. And it whirs it all up, and it cleans it, and then you wipe it down. So it's almost self-cleaning. It is pretty much self-cleaning, <laughs> exactly. That. So remember, it's also self-blending. So this is the cauliflower soup. Talk about healthy choices. So oh. many of us looking to incorporate more vegetables, looking to incorporate, you know, less carb, less potato, and maybe a little bit more things like cauliflower, things like almond milk. When you make these cream soups in here, you forget that you're eating all those veggies. So we know what juicing is, right? It's something that's been very popular. I struggle to juice in the winter because it's cold. Mm -hmm. I want something warm, I want something comforting. Did you know that souping is a thing. Souping is essentially juicing, but you're Souping. taking, seriously though, uh -huh. you're taking your vegetables and putting them in a broth, cooking them, and then you have a hot bowl of vegetable soup. You can leave it chunky, 
or you can puree it. But either way, you're getting that whole bowl of vegetables, but it's warm and it's, and fresh. it's comforting and, and it's, it's fresh. fresh. Exactly. And you have controlled exactly what in your, what's in your soup. So if you want a little bit of salt or a lot of salt, whatever you want to do, you're going to be able to add those fresh herbs. You will get the flavor, not from a can and not having to take all day. This is a brilliant idea. And especially right now as that polar vortex. Oh my gosh. Sweeping across the country. My poor daughter, I think she's in zero degrees Yeah, right mine's now. in Wisconsin, it's so all, yeah, they're it's, doing it. It's miserable. Soup is that kind of soup that is so comforting, is so good. But if you want to make carrot ginger soup, oh my God, the prep on it, it takes forever. Don't do it. 18 minutes, it's going to make the most amazing soups. We're going to give you, look at this book, an entire book with all these great ideas, everything from coconut curry shrimp are you kidding me i know simple easy easy to clean we have five flex payments so 25.99 on your credit card and we're even going to ship this to you absolutely free and think about what you're not doing mm -hmm. you're not having to rice the cauliflower you're not having to chop steam the carrots exactly. put them in the blender i hate transferring hot food around into blenders I, I, so i've had one blow up on me exactly so we're taking <laughs> all the good. concerns all the annoyance out of making your own soup and saving you time but it's not just soup i love this Frozen fruit, okay, you're gonna hear it clunk in. All right, that's serious right out of the freezer. This shows you the power. Let's make a smoothie. Why not make your breakfast smoothies in here as well? So it's not just a soup maker. It is also an awesome blender so that you're getting all the healthiness with Greek yogurt, with fresh fruit, with orange juice, with a little bit of honey to sweeten up. I want you to hear the power of what happens when we use the blending function. Because remember, you've got a thousand watts in here. Gosh, so whether I'm using so, that thousand so watts to simple. cook, I it's so simple. Simplicity. Here we go, not puree, not chunk this time, not cream soup, compote's coming. Let's put it on cold and hit go. Listen to what's about to happen in there. And off it goes. So this is the same function. Remember that powerful blender, that powerful thousand watts that cooks my food is also now blending my cold food. So when summer does come back, gazpacho, yeah. melon soup, mm -hmm. cucumber soup, all those fun things. But do you hear it going through frozen food? It's no problem. The actual blender itself is that straw. So I can put potatoes in here and have cream of potato soup. It will blend the potatoes. It will blend the frozen fruit. This is gonna take about three minutes and I will show you how great the consistency is as it continues to work. So we'll just you keep keep cycling? Going. Yeah, we'll just keep going. The brain is in here. The minute you push go, it takes off. And I'm glad it's a little noisy because that's power. Yeah. If your blender and your thing is not making right. noise, you don't have any power. If it's wimpy, you're not going to get the consistency. Watts. It's going to blend those potatoes. Yeah. It's going to blend those carrots. It's going to cook that chicken. And what did I do? I pushed a button. So now if I want soup all of a sudden at noon and it's just me, no big deal. It would take me 18 minutes to boil the water and cook the bad canned oh, soup. Just to, Now just the fresh ingredients are in it. Oh my gosh, yes. you just put it all in there. It's so simple. So um, it makes, I think, in the 1.2 liters. Yes, it's just about a liter. Okay, so it would make three, I'd say three big bowls. Three big bowls. Three of big soup. bowls, and right. then four to six side servings. But if of I just soup. want to make it for myself, I Absolutely. can only make enough for myself. You so can, you as decide. long as your recipe yeah. goes to the minimum line that is inside, and as long as it doesn't go above the maximum line, because obviously food expands as it cooks, and the liquid expands as well. So that's kind of the ultimate in how it blends and how right. it cooks. Here is my other favorite thing. So we've talked about the puree. Remember, six great functions. We've talked about the chunky soup mm -hmm. with the chili. We showed you the cream soup with the cauliflower. We are making a smoothie as we speak. That's our frozen and chilled soup function. I love that's blending all on its own. Here is my new favorite thing for winter. Compote. Hot, fresh, fruits and oh by the way you can buy the fruit frozen it won't matter for the soup but there is a compote bunk button which is essentially a fresh fruit you know soup that leaves it chunky to top your apples to top your ice cream 
to put on your French toast, to put on cake in the evening. Oatmeal. Look, oatmeal. I think this would be so Look good on at the oatmeal. consistency of this. Oh my gosh, do there. not use those syrupy Get fruits that. with all that bad stuff oh in them. Oh my gosh, read it. Uh, this the high is fructose natural. corn syrup and everything else in there. Yep. You can control everything. I think more and more we want to be in control. Yes. I don't need the sodium. I don't need the high fructose. I don't need any of that. You don't have to have it. And you can have whatever you want in 18 minutes. I was going to say, but it's got to be easy. That fruit compote, mm. buy the fruit frozen, buy it pre-cut, throw it in here, add a little honey, add your sweetener, 12 minutes to hot, fresh goodness. This is the new addiction in my home. The kids want waffles every morning. Okay, I can pop those in the toaster. And then they want the fruit compote on top of it. I want to I... do pear and cinnamon. Okay, okay so that one is pear and strawberry. And we did add some cinnamon. What about Ooh. corn chowder? I, I, Another I good idea. Can, I don't know if I can get past yeah, I see. I I told the compote's gonna the get you. Compote. Is because that's delicious. not something we really think about, but how easy can it be to cook fruit mm. when you have the right appliance? So I like the fact that we're doing three different kinds of soup. We're doing frozen things. Mm -hmm. We're doing fruit compote. Wow. We did the, of course, traditional tomato soup and grilled cheese, the corn chowder. All these things that I pay, what, $10 for a bowl at a restaurant? Mm -hmm. It's not hard to make. Most soups have five or six ingredients. That is it. But the reason we don't make it is because we think it's all this prep time. It's all this have to spend stirring and sauteing on on the stove time. And plus what, it's just, I don't want to wait for it, so a lot of us end up opening up a can and exactly. really do read what's in these things. Yep. I, I actually stopped eating canned soups just because of the sodium content in it. And if you go to the health food store and you're buying the healthier pre-made soups, mm -hmm. you're paying $10 a serving. You oh know, I mean, this will pay for itself immediately. Look at the color there. That is nothing but Beautiful. fresh frozen raspberry, orange juice, Greek yogurt, and a little bit of honey. What are you gonna pay for that if you went to the juice store this morning and got a smoothie? Those are the same ingredients that you're paying $8 for that you can do so easily at home. Look so at it's this. a soup maker. That it, looks beautiful, It's a smoothie it? maker. Mm. It makes an amazing banana coffee shake that's in the recipe book that we thought might be a little decadent for early morning, but I gotta tell you. Wow. But tell me about the consistency. This went in frozen. So creamy. Me. It, it's, it almost mm. tastes like um, like a milkshake. I agree. It's so good. It's so just so creamy. Good. So mm -hmm. we're trying to not have to spend money at the restaurants. We're not going out to grab smoothies at a juice bar. You can do all this wow. at home, plus the soups. Do it for yourself. Soup season. 20 minutes. Soup season is 365 days a year. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to make an 18-minute simple easy. Love it. Absolutely love this. So much fun. I think you'll love it too. But stay with me because you're going to love what I have com coming up because we have one of the best-selling pillows of all time. Next. Are you ready? Shop like a VIP 